We're going to be talking with the fighter spirit about his uh, theories regarding underground bases, extraterrestrials, cloning bases, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. He pertains, or he claims that there's a connection to him and that it all gets a little bit nefarious. So we're finally going to get a chance to talk to the fighter spirit, get to the bottom of this, and uh, really get to ask him on a question-to-question -to -to basis what exactly is going on with this whole uh, discussion of extraterrestrials. So I'm giving him a call. Hopefully he answers. Hello? Yo. Yeah, fighter spirit, are you there? Yeah, I'm... All right, fantastic, man. Listen, I'm going to be sharing the screen with you. So before we get started, just let me know if you see what I'm what I'm sharing here. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah. All right, fantastic. Yeah, cuz I'm going to be putting the uh the Discord things that you sent me. So we just want to right, make sure. Right, right, right. All right, so well, listen, thank you for being on. Really appreciate it. Uh this is going to be a, a crazy one. This is going to be a crazy one for sure because I mean, there's a lot to talk to, 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 uh, about. We've got aliens, we've got underground bases, we've got a connection to you. So before, again, let's not... And I'm going to be opening up phone lines too, by the way, so that people can call in. And I'm going to talk to you for about 35, 45 minutes, depending on how it goes. Might go, even go more. And depending on how it goes, we'll see if we let uh, when we let people in here to join the conversation on the panel. Sounds good to you? Yeah, cool. I just want to say uh, thank you for giving me a platform to share this information. And just want to let you know, um, they're monitoring this video right now. The CIA is watching this video right now, just so you know. All right. Well, you know that for a fact. For a 100% fact. All right. Well, let's start uh, with it. Uh, and again, let's not go all over the place. Let's try to stick to one subject at a time here. All right. Yeah, cool. No, that's okay. Yeah, listen. What is this? What are DUMBS? D-U-M-B-S. What are they? And what can you tell us about them? Deep underground military bases are basically the how the elite communicate now. They're um they can do it because there's no wires, there's no surveillance, there's no wiretaps, and there's no evidence of you know witnesses of anything. And that's how they communicate. They do it through cloning now, human cloning. It's called REM consciousness transfer. Every night when they, they have the ability to transfer their consciousness into a clone. And that's how they communicate now at the cloning centers. Fascinating. And you say that there are... Okay, so here's my question. You have these bases. How are they maintaining these bases? Who's funding these little pro projects? Us. Um, Phil Snyder. Philip Snyder. Some of you guys might know of him. He mm -hmm. was an ex-engineer an ex-military engineer who came out and exposed everything. He exposed Area 51, Dose Base, um, all the underground military bases and shows the technology, how they have these huge boring machines that they're basically like huge lasers. And they, what they do is find the area where they want to create the base and they explode it. They use these dynamites and they explode it and they use these boring machines. It's like a huge twisting laser that can, and they, the technology they have is eon beyond us they already have it since like the pyramids they just keep it from us all right so let's go one step at a time here so you claim that there are deep underground military bases uh at least in the united states that we that we know of uh i read an article one time where they were claiming that and this was from the 1970s that they already had patents from the 1970s uh, describing the technology to uh, perforate the earth and create underground bases. Now, this was in the 70s. They, they were talking about how much it would cost. It's somewhere around the billions. I don't know if they had already already had those bases in the 1970s, but at least there is a paper trail. Now, you talk about... F f some people might say, well, where's Fighter Spirit getting all these crazy conspiracy theories from? Talk a little bit about Phil Schneider. Who was he? What were his qualifications and what was his story? Okay, well, Phil Snyder, he came out like in the 90s. I, I, I don't remember exactly when, but he was a, a military engineer for the U.S. He would work on these un underground military bases that are they're known there. You can Google them. This is not a theory. It's just whether or not what he's saying is true. The clone labs, the 
quote unquote great aliens. Well, there's one video of Phil Schneider on YouTube where he's giving a lecture and he shows uh, his fingers. He tells a story of how he was in, I think, Area 51 working on the base. And while he was working on the base and they were drilling in the holes, this black fume started coming from the hole. He was like city smog, like what would be in like city smog, like, you know, in a city fume. And he realized like there's a whole civilization down there. And while he was working down there, a quote unquote gray alien, he called it a gray alien, but it's a real type three lizard. And they put the exact lizard in the movie Star Wars. They're known as Kaminoan. We'll talk about it in a bit. Absolutely. And it, atta it attacked him. He It attacked him. It, he said, he claimed it blasted his, and I'll get to more, what we, we can, there's evidence to, you know. Substantiate. Exactly. Yeah. Um, the, he claimed that the alien beamed him with his like it beamed him with his laser and blew off his fingers. And in the video, he shows the pic. He you know in the video he shows his missing fingers, and he says how in the U.S. alone there's like a thousand and something military bases. They're all over the world, but he mentions in the U.S. alone, and um he talks about he shows a picture of a quote unquote gray alien in the video and everything, and a picture of some government agents or something like that and some looking like a courtroom or something and the alien right there is sitting down and he mentions how his life they've attempted to assassinate him like 11 times already so if they ever if i ever you know find me dead they're gonna say it's suicide i didn't commit suicide and um eventually they found him with a wire a piano wire wrapped around his neck and said he committed suicide and that's uh, just yeah go well okay yeah so just to recap phil schneider uh, maybe he was working for the military. He claimed he had degrees in geology and oh, chemistry. Oh yes, yes, yeah, yep. yes. I also forgot to mention that um, the government they didn't tell him the 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 green berets. The when he got attacked by a gray alien, the, that 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 real lizard that beamed his uh, finger off, an, um, a black beret soldier that was there, you know, looking over them. The thing is, the government didn't tell him about the alien threat, the real threat. And when he got his uh, finger beamed off that same day, that soldier, that black beret soldier got killed by the gray alien. He said that that black beret soldier saved his life, pushed him into the thing to get pushed back up to the level up. And the, the alien killed him. And he said that thousands, thousands of workers in these bases have got killed by these aliens, by these lizards, because the government never tells them. It's just like, you know, where you want to work for the government, you're going to get paid all this money. Ooh, that's all they tell you. And then you go down there and. They're not going to tell nobody. They'll just say, oh, it was an accident. It was, a, a you know, a, a accident, like a construction accident. He fell. Ooh, they're not going to tell the, you know. Well, that's the thing. His body was never found. We couldn't that's find his thing. body and locate him. That's, that's the what thing. Happened. So this guy, Phil Schneider, who, again, he had, uh, he was an educated man. He wasn't just a, any old guy talking about this. He had degrees in geology and uh, chemistry. He was working. He claims he was working for the government in deep underground military bases. He says they were drilling. Uh, in the uh, in the earth under the rock with special technology, he says it was laser technology, and that like like Fighter Spirit said, he claims they encountered an alien. They got into a battle with the alien because again, this guy had guards around him, uh, green berets and black berets, and that uh, they saved his life, but that he, he ended up getting injured. Now, people are saying uh, in the chat, well, ask him for proof. Ask him for ask F Fighter Spirit for proof. Fighter Spirit, is it when you're dealing with this type of top secret stuff? All their world entities and all that. What type of proof do people expect? Is what I'm wondering. Okay, the current president of the United States, who's just a chip head, who's a a dead man walking, Joe Biden. He's been killed. Um, he released a he released a project secretly, Joe Biden, with a girl named Sherry Schreiner. The book is called "The Prisoners of Dose Base" by Sherry Schreiner. And Joe Biden, the current president of the United States, is narrating the audiobook. And he gives his, um, basically the whole, everything that I've been saying, he confirms it with uh, ev evidence and facts and talks about how the government made this, pre this peace treaty in, I think, 1933 and decided to work with these beings. And he gives the whole get down. It's Joe Biden. You can play the video right now. There's no copyright content or anything. Well, we're going to hold off on that for the moment because, again, we're just, uh, ju we're just scratching the surface about everything here. And we just want to give people a, a, an overview of what it is we're talking about. Phil Schneider, uh, he, like you said, he ended up uh, dying. And I think the official cause of death was suicide, but 
it make no sense that he would strangle himself. That's what some claim. It would make no sense for him to strangle himself when he had a maimed hand, which he always showed in the in his presentations. It would be difficult for him to strangle himself with a cord, piano wire, a hose, whatever it might be, if he's got a fucked up hand. And if he did have degrees in chemistry, he would probably know yeah. which, which chemicals to ingest to, to incur death as opposed to going through the whole rigmarole of strangling himself. But you, you mentioned that he... He claimed to have had a photograph of his, of of an alien of an extraterrestrial. You want to delve into that a little bit more? Yeah, he he's done a few lectures. Um, the footage is very hard to find because, of course, they'll let the misinformation and bullshit spread. But the truth, like my channel, let's be real, and see, you can mm -hmm. Google it; it won't pop up. The show mm -hmm. that Fox created after me will pop up, and all type of stuff. Same thing with Phil Snyder. You can look up Phil Snyder. You're going to have to dig deep. He has a couple of lectures. And one of his lectures, uh, I made a, a documentary about it. It's uh, called Phil Snyder, um, Joe Biden, and Donald Marshall in the Prisoners of Dose Base. I pretty much um, take all the you know claims of these people and I connect the dots for everybody and show the proof. That's also what I wanted to talk about, Donald Marshall. I don't know if anybody has ever heard of Donald Marshall. He's known as one of the biggest whistleblowers on ever um tupac's last album machiavelli the don columnati is about him um the walmart symbol the little golden his he has a uh, symbol his like a symbol that he you know he wrote a book and that symbol was on the book and um the walmart symbol is that and also he um claims that he's the one who blew the lid off of, of the illuminati and the freemasons and everything and megadeth put him on an album to uh, album cover as well and uh, Megadeth, the same people that put him on album cover, put me on album cover too. All right. Um, well, listen, listen, listen. You're going too far. We got to go step by step here because okay. we're going right. to lose people with this. And I don't even know what you're talking about. And I want to know what you're talking about. This sounds right. way. This sounds way too important to be let off uh, just in a, in a casual conversation. I'm trying to find exactly where Schneider claimed he worked. Uh, I it was in Area 51. I, it was wasn't it Dulce Air, Air Base where he claimed he was working. Um, He's yeah, I think it was uh I think it was either Area 51 or Dose Base. I have to go watch again. But either way, like that what is um going on in Area 51? They'll say it's aliens and all that, but it's not. It's hmm. everything that I've been talking about, I promise you. Oh, I, I, well listen, we're we're listening here. We're listening, we're wide awake trying to get to the bottom of this. Now I'm putting the on the screen here the photograph because okay, cause Phil Schneider claimed he had a photograph of an extraterrestrial. You remember the story, what it was? Or how, of how he came across this photograph? Am I still on? Yes, you are. Okay, because I'm trying to watch the stream, but it's saying you've been disconnected, so I can't. I'm going to go to my room and put the video on my TV. No, 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 no. Just click here. Click. There, there should be something that says watch stream. Yeah, that's and what I'm saying. I clicked on it, and it's, it, it doesn't pop up. It's saying you've been disconnected. But what's on the screen? It's, it's a photograph of the alleged extraterrestrial that uh, Phil Schneider had a photograph of. The gray one? No, 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 no. Well, this one, well, let me give you the backstory on this one. Uh, Phil Schneider claims his father uh, had taken, had knew an extraterrestrial. But again, he said that there's, there's in, in his testimony, Phil Schneider claims that in that base that he used to work on, well, not, not, not the one that he used to work in, but that there was an underground of, of military bases around the United States, deep underground bases where they were experimenting with people and extraterrestrials. And he claimed that there's, there's a whole bunch of extraterrestrial races on earth and one of them are the greys another one are the what they would call the nordics which are supposedly they look like humans except that they're more nordic looking blonde eye uh, blonde blue eyed and this fella here in the foreground of the picture is supposedly uh phil schneider's fa friend the fa the friend of phil schneider's father who was supposed oh, to be an ex yeah oh yes yes i heard about that Yes, that's um, those are his claims. Those are his claims. But the most proof ever shown about this stuff is on my channel. I'm not what? even trying to like suck my own dick. I'm not trying to. I promise you. When I tell you that Fox created a show after me, they created a show after me. Uh, um, we're, we're gonna I, look at we're gonna look at the content on your channel. You you give us permission, right, to do that? You're not gonna yeah YouTube yes. strikers. Okay. And uh, we're gonna do that. But first, explain to people what the Dulce Airbase theory is in regards to extraterrestrials, genetic manipulation, cloning, etc., etc. Okay. Well, the extraterrestrial stuff, the whole 
look up there, look up this, look in the sky, look. That's all damage control. It's all uh, um to deceive people from the truth, to keep people looking up. But in reality, they're they're deep underground, and they're using the the alien agenda. They're gonna drone. They're they're gonna do the fake alien invasion to get people down, to fool people, and also they use. This is what I want to talk about: the harp geoengineering. Mm. They're they're the ones who are gonna cause the, um, devastation, earthquakes, to make the quote unquote prophecies come and make people think that the world is ending to get people down to these deep underground military bases and drone them. What do you mean drone? Drone the people that are going to be underground? Yeah. Drone, what? Okay, so a drone is someone who's been taken over by a real lizard. Somebody who's been a, a parasited host of real, who's hmm. been body snatched by a lizard. See, the whole shape-shifting stuff, this is, this is something that only Donald Marshall has revealed. You're not going to hear David Icke, anybody. They're double agents. Alex Jones will never talk about this. The, the Eye of Horus thing... You know, mm -hmm. the, the whole Egyptian hieroglyphics and all that? Let the me eye put it on screen here. Yeah. The eye, there's an eye, right? And in that, the eye of horse, you see the little squiggly line going in the eye, right? Uh -huh. That represents a quill, a proboscis that just left a lizard. This, this real type one lizard that they basically resemble king crabs in the face and they have stalks as eyes, that picture I sent you. And then on the top of their head, they have this it's called a proboscis or a quill. Once in a lifetime, they can release that quill out of their head, and it's their spinal cord. It comes out of their spinal cord. Once the quill leaves the lizard, that lizard is dead now. It, that, that lizard right. dies. It's just a carcass. But, but the but consciousness of the quill, hold on. The uh -huh. consciousness of the quill goes in through whatever eye, a creature's eye. It wraps around the optic nerve. Yeah, that symbol right there. That, that they say it's the eye of Horus, the eye of Ra, um, the pineal gland, the Egyptian, blah, blah, blah. It's all damage control. When you see, no offense, no offense. I'm not trying to be racist. Ooh, I'm not. When you see black people talking about, oh, this is my culture, comedic. Aspect. No, it's not. This is mm. a real symbol. It means beware. Beware there are lizards near or drones near. See the little squiggly thing going in? Yeah. This, is, this represents a proboscis. It's basically the, the, con the lizard. The, the real type one lizard can release this quill out of their eye and they do it. They, when they drone somebody, I show on my, my, um, my channel, the whole process of how they drone somebody. The person is usually unconscious or all right, you know, all right, let's back up. Let's back up because those who people who have investigated even tang tangentially, uh, or, or you know, just briefly the subject of extraterrestrials, they come upon the theory that they are, uh, numerous races of extraterrestrials interacting with human beings. Uh, we're talking about, like I mentioned, the Greys, the, the Nordics, and uh, among them, the, the ones that you're talking about, the reptilians. You're saying that these people take over human beings. You mean take over their bodies? Or what exactly are we talking about here? That's what I don't, I don't get. Okay. That little squiggly thing? Okay, uh -huh. can you show a picture of the real lizard I sent you? Yeah. Uh, the king crab lizard? This is what they look like right here. They put it in a music video... Um, it's called Crabs in the Bucket, a music video. There we um, go. where is it? Um, yeah, because if you're watching, if you're watching it on your TV screen, there's going to be a delay, but it's, it's, up. Oh, okay, it should okay, be up okay, now. Okay. It should be up now. Okay. So yeah. that right there is basically, they're like two, three feet tall though. They, they, they just put him in a, he's supposed to represent an agent, right? Well, uh -huh. that's basically how they look. You see the little stalks, the, the eyes. Mm -hmm. And on their head, on their head, they have like a little chocolate chip thing. It's called a quill. It's called a proboscis. And once in a lifetime, they can release that quill. And that quill, once that quill comes out of their head, that lizard will die. The, the consciousness of that lizard is now in the proboscis that slithers in somebody's eye. It wraps around the optic nerve, like the money symbol you see, like the symbol of life you see, like all the symbols that are all out there for you to see. Um, and it, re it releases... <laughs> Hold on, though. When it, when, it, when it wraps about somebody's optic nerve, it goes into the brain and it releases these parasitic cells. And it does this feeling of like holding your breath, like holding your breath. And it takes over the person totally. That person is now dead. It now has the consciousness of, of this lizard but, and but the whole the, shape. The whole. But what's the point of doing all that? Because they're jealous of us and they want these lizards. These lizards live like thousands of years they're prehistoric lizards hmm. 
And have you ever heard the stories of the fallen angels that come to earth and sleep with women because they're jealous of us or the, the serpent and all that? It's all, yeah. I'm not trying to, nobody's beliefs. We can get to that later. Okay. And, and the reason the, these quote unquote kings and queens of England have all this gold is because these real lizards gave them these, this gold from deep underground, traded them for humans and babies. And the, there's the real type three lizards, the gray aliens. But that eye of horse, the whole shape shifting stuff, mm -hmm. there's no shape shifting. That's what it represents. The quill leaving the lizard, going through someone's eye. You see the, the dollar bill pyramid? The uh, eye let me on the show pyramid? It. Let me show it, yeah. That, that, that represents droning, I promise you. And um, the government, basically, um, the, uh, the prisoners of Dose Base by Sherry Shriner, where Joe Biden, the president, is narrating, speaks about all this that I'm saying. And right, the whole so, shape thing. So these beings Hold are on. these beings are superior to us in a lot of ways, but you're saying they're jealous of us. They're jealous of what do we no, have? No, they're not the real type the real type one lizards are not superior to us. They're dumb. They're basically um they're they're dumb as lizards, but once they become humans, they're smarter. Uh uh what's his name? Jeff Bezos is a drone. And, no kidding. and the, oh, I wanted to, let me mention this is important. The whole uh -huh. shape shifting stuff you see on YouTube, the slit eyes. That's fake. There's no shape shifting back and forth. It's a once in a lifetime thing when the quill leaves that lizard and body's not just somebody. That's it. Well, let me ask There's you this. No How do you know if somebody is a, a drone? What are good the signs questions. to which? Yeah. Good, good question. Sometimes you can tell as their eye, one of their eyes will be popped, like wallowed out a little bit, popped out a little bit. And drones m mimic human behavior. Hmm. They, they mimic human behavior. They, they don't have compassion. All they care about is sex torturing people and um droning other people like leading others to be droned yeah i think i might be a drone then no but all kidding aside uh y you remember the movie that the uh, invasion of the body snatchers right mm -hmm. well they did a movie they did a version in the 50s or the original obviously and then the they did a remake that i think tanked at the box office but the essential premise of the movie is there is this aliens that arrive on earth in in pots so they, they, they don't have a shape. They don't really have a form. They're not uh, humanoid-like. But they start, they're sort of like plants. They, they, they throw spores in the air and they take people over people. Now, film uh, experts and scholars, they'll say, well, you know, it's a metaphor for the Cold War and how at that time everyone was paranoid of the, of the communists and that it was, a, it was a, a metaphor for the communist takeover. What do you think about movies like that? Do you think they're telling you in the movies what the real deal yeah. is? They give they give codes uh, all the time. The best movie about droning and about what I just told is The Faculty. It's a movie about the whole plot. Even in the plot, the plot mm -hmm. will tell you it's a uh, uh, this school that gets invaded by this parasitic quote unquote alien race. And the whole movie is about droning. They even have this queen parasite, which represents Queen Elizabeth. And um, uh, Selma Hayek is the whole cast of the movie are at the cloning centers. And one of the girls in the movie is Salma Hayek. She's a replication clone of Medea. The word media comes from mm -hmm. Medea. And, and it's for a reason. And what does Medea right. mean? Medea? Mm -hmm. Medea was a Greek goddess who was a sorceress. She was, the definition of Medea is con cunning, to ponder, to deceive, basically what the media does. But that, that girl, Salma Hayek, watch. Uh, where's the plot? For some reason, yeah, Salma Hayek. You see her? Yeah. She's a replication clone of the Greek goddess Medea. Right. Okay, and, I have to and, ask. And, and, and you're going to say, why would they name the media after a replication clone? Mm -hmm. it, has, it has to do with the Illuminati and what the Illuminati is in Plan B. And how yeah. these people are basically just prisoners to the Illuminati. Once you be... Even if you don't, because when you hear people talking about selling your soul, it means when you hear someone saying that they sold their soul, it means that they've agreed to be cloned. And, but sometimes you get cloned even without agreeing to it. If you get famous, these people will intervene with you. All these people in this cast are at the cloning centers. All right. Now, why, why are they cloned? I, I must have missed. You mentioned it briefly, but is there more information or are you aware of why they would want to clone these people and then push them into the public eye? They're not pushing them to the public eye. They're well, using I mean, they're them. making them famous. They're right? using. Yeah, I feel. I, I I hear you. They're using them. 
why do you, they're using them to push their agenda? And if they ever wanted to step out of line, they use the clones of them to put them back in line. Because every night when they go to sleep, around an hour into sleep, REM phase of sleep, rapid eye movement phase, when you're like in the dream state, they have the ability to transfer their consciousness into a clone of them. And at the mm -hmm. cloning centers, these real lizards are there. The, the head honchos are there. And um, let's see, Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac was killed because he wanted to expose um, the cloning centers. And they chopped his clone up. What? And him, the, real him, the real him died the next day. He had an aneurysm. How do you know he wanted to explode, explore, uh, expose the cloning centers? Okay, good, good, good question. Because of the, the evidence and research, when they announced his death, they made a whole mockery on the news and they reported his death. Oh, Bernie Mac has died. Of a, you probably never heard of this new disease, sarcoidosis. They called it sarcoidosis, but it's just code for sarcasm. And, um, uh. They, uh, and um, Donald Marshall, Donald Marshall, who spoke to Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac wanted to speak up for Donald Marshall. Do you no. know who Donald Marshall is? Donna Marshall, no. Donald Marshall is basically one of the biggest, the biggest whistleblower, the most, he exposed the Illuminati and what it really is. And um, if you don't believe it, Tupac's last album, because they put code out there, right? Tupac's last album, Machiavelli, the Don Illuminati is about him. Donald, uh, Donald Marshall. So and you believe... <laughs> All right, so w one step at a time. You believe that they're cloning people, uh, and and specifically people that are famous. Wh how does this yeah. tie in with the uh, the underground bases, uh, military underground bases, and the reptilians? Because um, at these underground bases is where the cloning center is. Um, the thing is, they don't these whoever ends up at the cloning center there's people who do have higher ranking like kevin sullivan he was a ex-wrestler in the wwe he mm -hmm. he has ties to the centers where he can drive there these people that are being cloned in there their consciousness transferred into a clone they don't drive in there they're cloned in the the clone is grown in a septic tank in a base and they wake up one day and they're there and they you and they do this to control the whole population to promote their nwo agenda their garbage agenda and they're using these puppets as celebrity these celebrities as puppets they don't drive in there they're cloned in there in a septic tank it takes like about okay good look there's a uh, two different type of clones there's replication cloning which is me selma hike people that have been grown as a with the the cell of a dna and grown as a baby hmm. me selma hike little wayne mike tyson um oh, and then there's wait, wait, wait. did you say me or mead me yes me you, you a fighter spirit, you're a clone. A replication clone. I was grown with the cells of another person, the DNA of another person, John Shorn. And we'll talk about that in a bit. It has to do with Jack in the Box. There's, rep, you know, you're grown as a baby, but with the cells of another person. And then there's duplication cloning, where you're grown in a septic tank, and they, ch they uh, download your consciousness, put it in a chip. It's called a soul stone microchip. Uh, consciousness chip, the soul catcher Hobson, uh, a famous rapper, put the exact model in this video, uh, uh, Pound. The exact model that Donald Marshall revealed years ago um, because they put the truth out there. There's replication cloning and there's duplication cloning. Duplication is the people that are grown in a septic tank. You hmm. get me? All right. Now, then that, that, the, uh, that begs the question, how do you know if you're a replication, a repl a replication clone? That's what it has to do with Jack in the Box. Okay, All right. Well, we let's can, not get too can... far. Let's uh, let's not get too far. Let's stick to that for the moment. Let's before we get into your personal uh, escapades. Okay. Let's get, let's get back to the, the the whole underground base. So, what are they doing in these underground bases other than the cloning? Are they are they also mixing human with uh, animal and alien DNA, and for what purpose? Oh yeah, just for their entertainment purposes, for just experiments and projects. There's gene splice projects, and that's where the. Uh, Nightmare Hawk comes in of the book and uh, BDA. Mm. The president of the United States is narrating the audiobook. I'm not just saying that, okay? All right, I let's listen to. And the, okay, so this no, is a book. I know, I know, I know. This is a I book know. that you claim exposes everything, and you claim it's being read by by uh, uh narrated. Sorry, by good old Joe Biden. It's called Prisoners of the Dulce Base by Sherry Schreiner. Let's take a gander oh, yeah, at. 
Yeah. He doesn't say it, though. You're not going to see. And uh, this is Joe Biden narrating. No, he secretly put that project out. And that's why you see the little sleepy Joe Biden. Now, that's not him. It's a it's a, a dead head, uh, a dead chip head. Someone who's been someone who has a chip in their head with the consciences of somebody who's dead. And that you see Sherry Shriner, how it says uh-huh. by Sherry Shriner. Right. That girl, that girl. There's a whole document documentary on Vice. They did damage control. They, as they usually do, to deceive people, sway people from the truth. Mm. They claim that they claim that some girl killed her boyfriend because she was following the cult of Sherry Shriner. They have a whole documentary on Vice. It's on no, no, damage it, control. I'll tell you this, uh, Father Spirit. Uh, by the way, f- fellas, hit the like if you like this an- interview and you like the content we're bringing you here on Second Renaissance Week. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Spread the the you got you got to do it. You got to spread the silver gospel. The silver scrolls are here. They're being narrated and created in real time by people like Father Spirit. So make sure you spread the word. All right, Father Spirit. I I just went to the video you told me. I had to put it on the browser on YouTube. Check this out. They have the Wikipedia, uh, what you would call it, the, the, the disclaimer here, just to, to keep people, they usually only do that with high-level conspiracy theories, and yet here you uh, have it. Dulce Base is the course. subject of a conspiracy of theory claiming that a jointly operated human and alien underground facility exists under our Chuleta Mesa on the Colorado-New Mexico border. Of course. It should show you. They have to always try to control the narrative to sway people away. Same thing if you look up my YouTube channel, you're not going to find it, right? That's why uh, that's why we encourage people to join us over at Odyssey, Odyssey, O-D-Y-S-E-E. Uh, you can check us out over there, Second Renaissance. It's more or less uncontrollable. Uh, they can't really shut you down unless somebody asks them to. So uh, it's much better than YouTube, which now does it automatically. All right, let's listen to this. This this is an excerpt from the book, uh, Dulce, uh, Prisoners of the Dulce Base by Sherry Schreiner, and it's being narrated here by somebody that. Well, I'll leave it up to you. You tell me. Oh, who, let me who he's let me let me say yeah. this. Um, while the book was released, uh, it was around the. It'll say in the book, uh, George Bush was a president around here. So Joe Biden was basically just some like some congressman who was you know running you know coming up. Right. Well, let's let, let's take a gander at this. See where, where we can jingle okay. up wanted to do something on the Dulce underground base in New Mexico, and I haven't worked up the nerve to do Thomas Costello's report. So I typed in Dulce and cages, those two words, on the Google advanced search. Is this a video, Fire Spirit? Yeah. And so it, it's, yes. is, this, is this guy narrating the book, or is this the guy you claim is uh, the press in the United States? Yes, that's him. All right, let me, let me let's keep listening. And I found yeah. this page. Alien Nation, the Watcher Files. There's the URL at the bottom if you want to go there. And they have this article by Sherry Schreiner. I'd like to read it to you. It's an old article, but it really applies to this day. And it was amazing how much she knew back then. Because when she wrote this, I knew nothing. Uh, I think we have to pause it every once in a while. Because I don't know if this guy could copyright strikers or something. Y- yeah, you, you, if you want, just skip it. Just skip it to like a little bit to where it starts off to the first. Well, all of this, right? This is a good. Um, the, the this is basically what the introduction. It, it talks about the two governments. Woo woo. There's two governments, basically the Illuminati and the good people. What I've been saying, the prisoners and the the up the head honchos, right? And he. Uh-huh. And, but the, the first paragraph is dose based. I think you should just skip it to that to the important. Right. There's a couple. It's all important, but I got you. I got, I'm gonna put the link in the. Uh in the chat here so people can check it out at their leisure because it is a 30 minute video uh we can't play all of that here right now so there it is fellas for those of you that are interested let's uh let's fast forward to about uh the five minute mark see what we're dealing with here cool, cool. process lied to the american people and have served as presidents and many of our congressmen since the 1970s secret societies rule our government Not one president has been elected for the past 30 years that was not a member of the Council of Foreign Relations and Trilateral Commission run by the Illuminati. The insignia of the Trilateral Commission is the same insignia seen on alien aircraft. All right, now, so it starts off giving you sort of like the basic crash course of uh, symbolism that is plastered across the United States, as most people would know. uh, And there's a bunch of resources that we could talk about later on. That, that puts people on the right path in regards to that. 
I want to ask the people in the chat room, do you think that is the current president of the United States, Joe Biden, narrating that book? Uh, we're gonna. By the way, the phone lines are open, fellas. The phone lines are open. If you want to call in and uh, ask Fighter Spirit a question, or uh, essentially let him know what uh, what you think about, the, or let him, yeah, let him know what you think about this, or if you have anything to add, that would be fantastic. The phone number oh. is. Hold on a sec. Where is the phone number? There it is. It's in the lower portion of the screen. Actually, I'm gonna move it because I don't think people can see it properly. There we go. Show so sure um, the part of the book where he, where he mentions cloning. So scalping everything I've been talking about, if you can. Well, I don't know what which part that is. Do you have a timestamp? Uh, it's like um the the paragraph where the dose base paragraph. I think it's like in the middle of the video or something. I'm not too sure, but. All right. Well, you know what? That's actually gonna take us too long. Let's just uh, you know I put the link in the description, so if people wanna wanna check it out, they can do it. But, but here's my thing then. Okay, so there, you you claim that there's these underground bases. They're they're mixing in. They're doing genetic experimentation with people. Are they, in order to mix uh, this animal and extraterrestrial DNA with people, where are they getting these people from? These human beings. Are they are they homeless people that they're kidnapping, or what's going on here? Yeah, um, the the people that they take. Like the human beings that they kidnap there, they're usually, they get killed. They get droned or just molested and killed. They never take anybody like, you know, in this dimension there. If they do, they get droned. Um, all the kids that go missing, all the child trafficking underground tunnels. This is what, the, this is where they go. They're never going to tell you this though. So, okay. So are they, so are they're. They're doing this to everyday regular people or, or they're taking the most vulnerable? Are they taking prisoners? Are they taking homeless people? Um, they usually, yeah, they kidnap a lot of homeless people, children, and um, a lot of black people. For um, A lot of black people, they kidnap a lot of black people for their organ, their uh, to harvest their organs and whatnot. But everybody, they don't discriminate. But why, why mostly black people? Because they're more prone to be disenfranchised, you mean? Or... Because I've noticed that a lot of, um, in like DC and New York, a lot of black people, they, in like fucking bunches, but like just the other day in Ohio, this was an, this wasn't on the news, but like a hundred black g girls got kidnapped, nowhere to be found and missing. And I know oh. where they're going. Where are they going? So these cloning centers, um, B uh, BDA, have you heard of the Robert Picton farm murders? Yes, indeed. I'm Canadian, but yes, please explain to people what that is and what the connection to everything we're talking about here is, please. Okay, well, Queen Elizabeth orchestrated that. Queen oh. Elizabeth hates prostitutes. She wanted to clean the streets off of prostitutes, and Robert Picton was cloned. He was cloned into the zone. They cloned him into the cloning centers. And well, anyways... Well, wait, explain, the case, explain the case. Yeah, explain who Robert Picton was and how he's connected to all of this. And what did he do, okay. of course, yeah. Robert Picton was some uh, pig farmer in Canada. He had his own pig farm, and um, he was a uh, some kind of like a lunatic, right? He wasn't all the way there or whatever. Well, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he was a lunatic. He basically in uh in um Canada. That, there, there you go. That's him right there. Um, all these um this case right here of these. I don't know if you guys are aware of these prostitutes. Well. He invited these prostitutes to his farm and he made them look at a picture and used a ball pin hander and bashed them over the head. And those murders were filmed. They had a camera in the corner of the room where he killed them. And the clone there's a cloning center and cloning senator in can center in Canada. There's it's like five hours away. And they personally drove to his house to get the footage and took it to the cloning centers and watched it all. Britney Spears saw it around the time where she cut her hair off and went mad. That's because of what she was seeing at the cloning centers. And um, basically, Queen Elizabeth orchestrated this whole thing because she hates prostitutes. And um, Buckethead, Buckethead, I don't know if some of you guys know who Buckethead is. Sure. He made a buck. He put like, me well, on one of his. Okay, okay, but you get it. Okay, hold on, hold on. You, you're going uh, um, a thousand miles a minute here, but we got to slow down for the people out there because your brain is going a thousand miles a minute. You said that there's a cloning center, and I'm putting the picture you sent me here. A cloning right center. There. What? How do you know there's a cloning? What is this place? First of all, uh, officially, and how do you know there's a cloning center down there? 
just picture right you're seeing right here which looks like some arena some rodeo arena type stuff uh -huh. this is what the this is what the cloning senator in canada looks like the above ground one the one that's in canada is above ground this is what it looks like right here and it's like basically like five hours away from the pig farm and the you see this art this is a drawing right this is a drawing of what it would look like oh good. well yeah well buckethead um he's a, a guitarist he was in the band guns and roses he was in a couple of bands made an album well he put me on an album cover look up there i don't know if you, you've seen it did you see the album cover look up there and it, it I'm, I'm gonna um correlate this to the to the pig farm and everything okay. mind you everything that everything that i've been telling you guys about right bda all yeah. this stuff that i'm exposing okay well bucky had put me on one of his album covers um it's the look up there one okay it's well Buckethead, who put me me the, the 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 dude who just exposed all this he has an album he has an album called um he had, he joined the band called corn bugs and he made a, a album he made a whole album about the picton farms and i have a video about it right and you have to and you have to Proving everything that I've been saying about the the Picton Farms, he made a whole album about it. You have to watch it though. Um, All right, well, listen, we're, we're gonna give people a link to your your channel so that because I mean, this is I got tons of questions here because I still don't understand fully wh what exactly is going on and what your connection is doing. But before we get down to that, uh, let's uh, people are waiting. Uh, people are on the line. They want to uh, talk to you. Because this is fascinating stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Let's go to the phone lines here and uh, talk to the people here. Because this is a show for the people, by the people. Let's go to... Hold on a second. 347, you're on the air. 347, what's on your mind? Yo, B, what's going on? What's so, up, you Major? know, you've been talking about all these plan Bs. Uh, you show this uh, lizard alien that looks like Tommy McGee. You know, so oh. all of this stuff, right? You know, and I'm, I'm. My question is, Fire Spirit. You know, you know, Fox making a show after you and everything. Like, what is the main outcome? What's the main goal, right? Of all of you know the the lizard, the the lizard aliens. What what's their main goal? All right, uh, Fire Spirit, what's the main goal between uh, what they're trying to accomplish and how, how you're involved in all of this? Look at your president. Look how they insult your intelligence every day because they're not humans. They want to take over the planet. The yeah, book, Prisoners of No Say Base, talks about how by 2029, they plan to depopulate 90% of the human race, and they're already doing it. That's what the New World Order is, a New World Order. That's their their goal. Now, my goal is to wake everybody up about this agenda, to um, b basically free all the prisoners from the military bases, free everybody and wake everybody up. That's my goal. Now, Father Spirit, Father Spirit, why are they trying to do this, right? Why are they trying to do this? What do you mean, why are they trying to do this? Because they're jealous of us, and they... They they live underground, Why and they want to they want to take they want to take over this planet completely and do what they do without the shame from us human beings who have hearts and consciousness from God. They want to molest little kids. They want to do the stuff they do without us being there. You know they're already doing it. They get right, away so with it every day. So you're saying that the, the reason why these beings are jealous of us is because we have souls, consciousness, we're self, and they they do not. They're jealous, of, they're jealous of us because we're known as the most beautiful creatures on the planet. They want to sleep with our women. They want to have no, our no. life. They want to ex no, experience... I want to say this, right? Many reasons. All right. Like, so, MMHM, go ahead. Yeah. Have you heard Have you heard of the um, the movie Coneheads? Now, I think it relates to what you're talking about. Now, I agree with what you're talking about. I see myself... I am a great alien lizard, <laughs> but um, anyway, no, no, anyway, I think <laughs> that, um, you know, all of this relates to me, you know, because I actually was in the underground military base. Okay. Said, now, listen, so I actually saw Biden doing crap at one of the military bases. I actually saw stuff like this going on, but... The thing is, Fudge Spirit, now, I have come 
to take over the world. I'm thinking. All right. I think MMA Champ's pulling your leg a little bit there, Fire Spirit. Anyway, listen, MMA Champ, anything else you want to say before we move on? Oh, he hung up. All right. Well, obviously, not everyone's gonna uh, understand what you're talking about, uh, Fighter Spirit. I'm I'm still trying to figure out figure it out all myself because it's very complicated. I mean, we got extraterrestrials, underground bases, cloning, Buckethead. Uh, all we're missing is Janet Jackson and her tits out. Uh, so let's keep on going here. Uh, first of all, give us your link uh, to your channels, uh, your, the links to your channels, because we want to make sure that people actually get access to all of this so that they can figure out what it is that you're trying to talk about. Can you please give us the links? Uh, it's just the only channel um, is Let's Be Real ENT. Let's Be Real ENT. Well, if I write it on YouTube, you say it's not going to be, it's not going to come. No, is this, is this yours? Hold on. Let me put it up here on the screen. Oh, like one or one or two videos will pop up and then the rest that are not mine. Is it the one where there's a guy with a ma USA mask on? Yeah. Oh, it came up the first time I wrote it. All right. So there you go, fellas. Uh, oh, you're covering boxing in there as well. I thought it was all uh, non-boxing. Oh, no, no, that was just a clickbait video. Oh, I got it. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you didn't do clickbait videos. What's the matter with you? Well, you know, when people are full of envy and evil, they'll purposely ignore you, even when, even though you showed more shit they will ever see in the raggedy lights. So I That's have to right. clickbait. All right. Well, let me let me put the, uh, the link to your channel here. Let's be real entertaining. All right, so let's get back to the conversation here. So uh, you, you're claiming that there's uh, uh, this... Uh, Okay, first of all, I, this is what I want to get to. You talk about the connection to all of this with you. You just dropped a bombshell earlier and said that you are a replica replication clone from somebody yes, named... Uh, um, yeah. the, proof, the proof is in uh, my Wishing Well video. All right. Well, we can't watch the whole video now, so why don't you break it down for us? Okay, well... Have you guys ever heard of, you know, or well not, have you ever heard of, because you guys all know the wishing wells that are in the uh, Disneyland wishing wells that are everywhere, England, Canada, there's one in front of my mom. Do you know why we use wishing wells and why you throw a coder in the wishing well? No, what is that? It has to do with Jack in the Box and John Shorn. John Shorn was uh, um, in North Marston in England, North Marston, Buckinghamshire, England. He was uh, basically like a a pastor eh. he was a saint he was never officially canonized though and he came across the well he during a drought he discovered a well whose waters were had miraculous properties and he was his reputation for holiness was such that he is known to have cast the devil into a boot this is where the jack-in-the-box toy comes from this john shorn the dude who came across the well casted the devil into a boot and he's often pictured honing a boot with a devil in it that's where the jack-in-the-box toy comes from Right. And mm -hmm. that's why that's what that's what the wishing well comes from. John Shorn and John Shorn is me. OK. okay and um, so I sent you a picture on the um, I sent you a picture on the, 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 the discord uh -huh. of a picture of Shorn where he has a little devil in the boot. Did you see it? Uh, hold on a second. Let me see. Uh, is it is it one of the most recent pictures or. I uh, it's it's um, it's the little picture where it's, I'm wearing a red gown and the the yellow cross oh okay 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 hold on hold on okay so this is a, a an ancient be well not ancient but it's an older way older uh being that that you were cloned from mm -hmm. yes uh, and so um who, i also yeah. sent you the the jack the the buckethead album cover remember buckethead uh -huh. who put me on one of their album covers so sure, you yeah. know like i'm not just talking on my ass there's evidence of that um you can put my picture of me right there, of the, the and it's me. Okay, you see, this is a picture that you see this this base right here, these gray walls. Uh -huh. This is a real picture in a underground military base somewhere, and um, this was purposely made for me so I can put it and show you guys. But once I've got this picture, put it on my YouTube and put all the um information out, they took it off from Google. It's not on Google anymore, so this is an exclusive picture that you won't ever find everywhere except uh -huh. here now, right? Well, listen, you're and, um, throwing out... You see, well, go ahead, yeah. See the little boot, the little... How I have the cross and then the boot right there? Uh-huh. This is where Jack in the Box comes from. Mind you, Buckyhead, who put me on one of their album covers, also put me on the Kaleidoscope album, Jack in the Box and the Stump High Cat, okay? And you see this? This is John Shorn, the dude who discovered a well. During a drought, he discovered a well whose waters had miraculous properties. His reputation for holiness was such that he is known to have cast the devil in a boot. 
This is where the origin of the child's Jack in the Box toy, although the Jack in the Box toy didn't come out after 500 years after this, right? I got to tell you, man, that's a lot of information. Uh, somebody, Super Sardonic in the chat says, bro, what's his point? How is all this stuff linked? I got to tell you, man, is there a, is there a simple way for us? Because I'm, I'm trying to ask all the right questions here so that we can link this, but you're throwing out a lot of information. It's hard to, for me to understand where exactly where it is. So I'm just going to show people here. So John Shorn was an actual uh, mythical figure. Well, I mean, according to Wikipedia, he did exist. Sir John Shorn in the, uh, in the uh, 14th century was rector of North Marston in the English county of Buckinghamshire, whatever. He was a very pious man and was said to have effected many miracles, cure for gout and toothache. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, England, the UK as a whole, is replete with all sorts of witchcraft, uh, natural cures. There's what they would call a uh, fuck fire spear. What's that called when people grab a stick with two pointy ends and they're able to detect water with it? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, that's a, supposedly that actually works, they say. I forget what it's called. And all of that supposedly came from the UK. So this John Shorn uh, was supposed to be a very pious man who developed some cures for gout and toothache. You're saying you were cloned from this fella. Mm-hmm. And, how yes, did they, but, and but how did they preserve, how did they get his DNA, first of all? Okay, it says it right there. Look, when he died, his shrine in the church at North Marston became a popular place of pilgrim. Right. His mm -hmm. remains were later moved to St. George's Chapel, Windsor. If you look up Jack, I sent you a picture on the Discord, Jack in the Box, the Gematria of Jack in the Box. Mm -hmm. Look at the Gematria of Jack in the Box and the Gematria of Plan B. Right. Well, let me ask the you this. Gema okay. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah. The Gematria of Jack in the Box. It's uh, the DNA secret, um, the blood and soil, um, uh, what, uh, something else, Freemason blood. It's there. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Oh, by the way, Knockout Net. Shout out to Knockout Net. He says it's dousing. That's what it's called, dousing. Yeah, dousing is when you when you grab a stick with two pointy ends and you can it detects under uh, water, the water deposits. All right, so I'm going to have to invite some people in here so that they can ask more questions and help me out here because it's a lot of information. You're talking, uh, you say, you're claiming you were cloned uh, from... Yeah. Can you show the, the Jack in the Box Gematria for people who know that Gematria is the truth so they can see that I'm not lying? Uh, well, it's, it's, Gematria it's, is, the st is supposedly is that if you if you uh, addition numbers together with letters, they'll give you a... Oh, sorry, letters, they'll give you a power, right? A, a, uh, I don't know how to explain it. How, you, how would you explain Gematria? Right there, look. Um, it's basically coding. You know what the Matrix is. The Matrix is all numbers. And um, if you look up Jack in the Box, because I'm not lying about this, this is 100% true. Absolutely, look, yeah. Jack in the Box, I can't really, it's zoomed out, but. Yeah, I'm trying to, uh, okay. for some reason I can well, see. Well, if you look at, the, at some of the, the, the matches, you can see what I'm saying. All right. So, so DNA. Gematria is when you write in words and they give you a, a, a number at the end that's supposed to represent something, right? So it's almost, it's numerology involved. Yeah, you see. Jack yeah, but people who know, yeah. know about this will know, like, this is the truth. Like, look, gang stalking, jack in the box, um, blood and soil. Go down a little bit if you may. Like, put the Masonic blood, right? And also, um, the place where I was moved or where John Shorn was moved, right? George Saints Chapel. I also will tell you the royal bloodline because that's what I am, right? And also, see, Masonic blood. Uh -huh. Um, the DNA secret. This people who know about Gematria will know like, oh, okay, this is a real deal. And uh -huh. also Plan B. Plan B equates to Dose. But that's ah. you know. And what does fitness coach have to do with it? Another video that I made about uh Nipsey Hustle, who um basically got slandered because a video that I put on my channel, I put him on my channel song, and after I put him on my channel out of nowhere, they came out saying that they have footage of him, some gay footage of oh. him. All type of shit because that's what the Illuminati does. They they they'll, they'll now, slander speaking, you. Speaking speaking of gay, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. How does that tie into the whole thing? I don't know, but the important part is. But you, wait, you, you hold on. You you have Montreal, Canada in there. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's a, all this stuff can mean something, but the important part is what you see there. The uh -huh. DNA secret. After everything I showed you, everything I'm telling you, the DNA secret, Jack in the Box, Masonic blood, blood and soil. All right. That's the important part. It's not every the, little thing is going to, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're still working through the list is what you're saying.
you're still trying to decode what it all means. A secret and all that. So you're right. you're saying you're saying you're still trying to decode what it all means. No, it's, I know what it means. What you see on Wikipedia is uh -huh. their theory. What I have on my channel is the absolute truth. Jack o' lanterns. Do you know the story of, of Halloween and no, Jack o' lanterns? Well, 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 I wanted to, uh, well, not not yet, not yet. But I wanted to ask you, sister, because you you claim you're a clone. Again, how do you know you're a clone of of John Shrom? Shorn, sorry. Because every, because everything that I just showed you, nobody else on the planet Earth is going to show you that unless they're the one, right? <laughs> Now let me ask you this: When you okay, so you claim you're a clone. You claim the proof is in the pudding with the gematria and the, the connection to the Jack in the Box, which we're gonna get to later. But I'm interested in what in if you are indeed a clone, do you have any memories from John Shorn? Do you have any special abilities? Uh, any medical knowledge? Uh, what, what can you can you clarify that for us? Um. Yeah, I'm the most truther on the entire planet. Jack o' lanterns, the mm -hmm. mascot of ha Halloween, the holiday basically about me it's about john shorn wishing well as you see it's about john shorn me okay um let me let me prove how jack in the box is about me the jack-o-lanterns and mm -hmm. has to do with jack in the box you see me with the picture of the cross and the devil in the boot okay mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. the story of jack-o-lanterns comes from stingy jack stingy jack was somebody who made a deal with the devil right okay uh this this is a fact you can now mind you when you wikipedia and google it the story of stingy jack they say this is Part fact, part fiction, theories, and blah, blah, blah. But this is the 100% facts I'm telling you right now. Stingy Jack is a, a, a guy who he made a deal with the devil. The is, devil is, this for, is, is this from American folklore or like what this can is, we this, is, this is what you, you, every little kid at school, you see them wearing jack o' lanterns, the decorations, every Halloween celebrate. It mm -hmm. has to do with me. Let me prove it to you. Okay. Stint now, now they have their theories about Stingy Jack, but I'm telling you the truth right here. The, 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 the story that they put out, their theory, is that Stingy Jack made a deal with the devil, right? Where and, it, where, and, sorry, where are the pictures that you sent me about that? Because I don't... I don't uh... Oh, I, I, my bad. I totally forgot to um, send you. But if you just Google Stingy Jack, it'll pop up. Okay, but, let me, um, let me I, have, I have it memorized. Um, th this is how basically the story goes of Stingy Jack, of Jack o' Lanterns. Stingy Jack made a deal with the devil. The devil came up to him and when the devil is going to take this is just a metaphor and theory of their version and i'm gonna give my truth the real mm -hmm. story the, their version is that the devil came to stingy jack and was going to take his soul to hell right and D stingy jack told the devil before you take my soul to hell can we go to the bar one last time and when they went to the bar stingy jack drank and drank and then he asked the devil can you transform yourself into a coin so i can pay the devil i mean so i can pay the bartender and when the bartender isn't looking, you can transform yourself back into the devil. So the devil did it. The devil, this is just a metaphor for what I'm showing you right now. Look, the devil transformed himself into a coin, right? Right. Then Jack took the coin, put it in his pocket, and in his pocket there was a crucifix. And Stingy Jack said, I'll release you, Satan, if. So the whole story is about how Stingy Jack outsmarted the devil. You can look it up. The true version has to do with me jack napier well jack before we box. get to that before we get to that uh, as you call it your truth first of all i'm curious where do they get a photo of me this is uh this is copyright infringement right here i didn't give him a, a permission to use my image second of all being serious here when you, it's stingy jack is that where the the phrase uh oh he's being stingy with his money comes from you know when somebody's 